Hey beer tubers, Ryan here back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. We're we'll doing something a little different today. I'm we'll gonna be doing my first ever re-review of a beer, although it's a slight variation on that. As you can see here, I have a growler of stone, and this is sublimely self-righteous, but instead of the regular version, it's the double dry hop version. Uh, if you've been following me since I started, this was the first beer I ever reviewed, and I don't know if I can watch that review. It's like 10 minutes long. I was nervous. You know, it was uh, pretty much probably a train wreck. I, I don't want to watch it. I don't remember what grade I gave it, but uh, I figured this beer deserves better than being my first review. So uh, let's get this thing poured. It's 8.7%. It pours out, I mean, it's just about pitch black. It looks like maybe there could be a tiny bit of light getting through there, but it pretty much looks like a stout. And uh, this beer was originally their 11th anniversary ale, and they liked it so much. It was one of the first, uh, at least widely available black IPAs that I'm aware of. Not the first, but um, yeah, it looks like a stout. It's got you know a little bit of a uh, light tan head on there. They're hop wise, they're using Chinook, Simcoe, and Amarillo. So I'm not sure if they dry hop with all three or only uh, doubled up on, say, two of them, maybe Chinook and Centennial. Anyway, let's get the nose on it. Oh, yeah, there, you know, there's no way you'd know this is a dark beer if you were doing it blind. Wow, a ton of sweet orange coming from that Amarillo. Like tangerine, mandarin orange kind of character. And then you get some of that like peachy character from Simcoe. Touch of, uh, like I said, I don't know if, how much Chinook's in there, but there's certainly some bitter grapefruit that can either be coming from maybe like the Chinook or the Simcoe. A little bit of like earthiness in there, a little bit of a, a, a dank resiny character. Ah, it smells, it smells great, so uh, let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, up front you just think, man, this is this is a nice IPA because it's just so hop forwards, ton of hops. It's not overly bitter, or at least maybe uh, the first sip might build up a little bit more as we go on this review. But then the back end comes and you're like, oh wait, what's this like chocolate roasty character doing in this beer? Um, so that kind of comes in the back end. Up front, I get a lot of sweetness on it, M mostly sweet hops. That, I mean, it comes through, same thing on the nose, that sweet kind of tangerine, orange, sweet orange, mandarin orange kind of character comes up front, a little bit of like peach followed by a bit of like a floral note in there, and uh, a little bit of like maybe a sweet bready malt character, maybe like a touch of a caramel malt, that kind of all hits you. And then you kind of... You get a lot of sweetness and then comes sort of the, the darker part of the beer, the roastiness. And then with the roasty finish is where a lot of that bitterness kind of ends up uh, tasting. So first you sort of get like chocolate and then it fades out with some of that kind of roasty coffee character. And then up comes some like bitter grapefruit bitterness from the hops, a little bit of earthiness, just a touch of like a, a resinous character in there as well, like a piney character. I mean, a little bit on the back end. Finishes nice and dry. I mean, it's, it balances out fairly nicely because it is, uh, at least it's double dry hop. You get a lot of like uh, sweetness up front. And then nice and dry, like I mentioned, and 8.7%, can't taste it. Maybe feel it a little bit, but it's very well hidden. Uh, there's, you know, some other stuff going on in the beer, but it, it definitely drinks like a IPA up front and then just a touch of like a stout characteristic in the background. Drinking on it more, start to get a little more of that sort of zesty, pithy citrus note. Some, uh, the pineyness tends to come up a bit more. I, I remember if you, if you don't have it ultra fresh, I think the beer kind of fades into a bit more uh, kind of piney, bitter grapefruit character, which is something that's cool about the double dry hot version. It, it's got a lot more uh, the sweeter hot notes in there. So you, you kind of start to pick up on that and the bitterness builds up a little bit more. You start to get a little bit of this other fruitiness in there that I can't quite describe. I'm guessing might be coming from their house yeast strain. Uh, 
sort of in that sort of stone fruit, quasi tropical fruit character. There's a little bit of that in there. Uh, a little bit of uh, caramel starts to pop up. Still, still remains though the the bigger flavors of the chocolate, the roast, and then the uh, sweeter, orangey or hot notes. So. Uh, I don't remember what I graded the regular version. Uh, this is definitely probably one of the better versions to get. You know, the double dry hopped. You know, they go through the dry hopping process again, double up on it, so you get even more aroma on it. I mean, it's a great smelling beer. I mean, just uh, just really fragrant. Kind of helps out, add a little bit of uh, flavor in there as well with the extra dry hop. So uh, this one's definitely recommended. I, I think it's still one of the best black IPAs out there. I do, I mean, West Coast, we have this, the shoots hop in the dark. I mean, this one's available year round, the shoots are seasonal. Uh, this still doesn't live up to their 15th anniversary beer. Um, I'm going to put this one maybe uh, slightly, I mean, I think it's about the same level of Wookie Jack that just came out prior to Walker. That's the nice kind of rye character in it. So uh, this one's still, still an A beer for me. It's still an excellent black IPA. Uh, recommend checking out, especially if you get this double dry hop version at the brewery. Uh, it's one of the good reasons about living close and being able to go to the brewery is you get these uh, double dry hop versions of a lot of their regular beers. So until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.